Howdy y'all, I am Ice Gold, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing some fire PvP. And fire, it's taken a tumble. Uh, it has taken a significant tumble in the rankings, and yeah, it's, uh, it's not in a really great spot right now. It's definitely a bottom half school, but for the time being, I at least have this to show y'all. And I basically just played really, really aggressive, kept up the pace. Stayed on offense and basically outdid another offensive school at their own game. And I was able to catch the dub as a result. So I hope y'all enjoy this. Uh, I'm hoping to get back to streaming pretty soon. And, you know, it's just been kind of hectic because classes have been kicking my ass, like, for the past couple months. <laughs> but I, I have, like, a week-ish in here <laughs> where I really want to uh, just go all in and do what I can, do some budget walk, maybe do some peeve streams, because I haven't wanted to get back into that. But for the time being, check out this fire match. Uh, <laughs> I've got the same setup as I usually do, you know, like, good peers, good damage. I don't actually have perfect accuracy, but don't worry about it. And then, this is the deck. I did add some uh, TC Blades back in, just because it's like, I got this, I got this idea from when I was playing on my Myth. I was like, you know, what if I, what if I just played more like a myth and uh, just really went for more uh, like double blade combos, that type of deal. Uh, I do run the risk of getting enfeebled every time I do that, but well, sometimes you just gotta play that. I got it. So for now, I hope y'all enjoy this match, and I'll see y'all later. Okay, fire versus myth. It's a little bit interesting. This is at least a skill based matchup. Uh, at least from my interpretation it is. <laughs> so, how about it? Um, yeah, I'll probably just uh, blade this turn. Go from there. See what I can't pull. Guys, I mean, he's just gonna blade. There's a flow chart Liam made where he's like, blade once, use the other blade. And then aura, and then hit. <laughs> and then it works. So, I mean, that could be interesting if he's not running, uh, what's it called? Storm Accuracy. But once weakness, not gonna help. <laughs> it just isn't. Okay, so he went for a Tower Shield. It's not a bad move. Uh, obviously get rid of that. <laughs> um, I could get rid of that too, I guess. And it does look like he is getting storm stuff, so... Well, I don't want to do this because I get enfeebled. So, maybe the buff to use is a bubble. He actually failed it, which is interesting. So, bubble is good there. Uh, I'm really going to be needing to lean on these elephants for much of the match. Furnace could also be good. It's what I wish I had last turn, so that way I didn't have to start Bubble War without having any others in my hand, but it is what it is, right? <laughs> so he's obviously going to ore here. So... I think my play is going to be to aura back. Because sure, he can hit me right now with a double buffed hit, but I can volley back with a triple buffed hit. And I can brim out of it. Which is just good for me. Like, okay, I'm getting a lot of elephants. I have all three of my elephants right here. So, this is, this is a good start. I don't think I'll use that. But yeah, elephant here. Then, brim. What's he doing? What? Okay. I mean, sure, I guess. <laughs> right? It's like, I guess it's even better that I didn't blade now. But now I'm the one hitting first, so now he's at the disadvantage in that regard. So, yeah. Good 2.4 plus that OT. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. I can wand, you know, if he goes for a weakness. But I think my play here is going to be to Blade. Oh, he's going to bow. Okay. So that helps me, because uh, I furnished after him. So... 
Yeah, we could definitely just run that up right away. I should be getting the Storm Pip, shouldn't I? Just in case. Because I don't want him taking a triple buffed type deal. Yeah, no, get that. But if he Zillas, what can he do out of it, you know? Nothing, I don't think. Stone Colossus? Yeah, he must not have got the pigs. So I think I'm gonna blade here. And yeah, you know, 2700. But I'm already matching that, so... I'm kinda doing alright. Um, yeah, we don't really need to get... And feeble just yet. But yeah, this is a good play. And I mean I could also, you know, just double brim. I could Elephant Blade Brim. I'm mostly just keeping up the aggro. That's what you gotta do. So that's already like another 182 of the round. So what minute is that, dude? Death? Or okay, and power. But well, that's his aura out, so... Now it's like, what does he do, right? Um, okay, so... I think the play here is to take a big elephant while I've got the buffs. Because he's, he's at 8k, you know, I'm at 8.6. This is a good way to wipe the gap. From here, I can uh, I can blade into a brainstorm, which would be mass. So, yeah, 5.3k. That's nuts. Yeah, you do not want to be eating those. It's a myth. Probably won't use that. But yeah, that's the last stick of his OT. So, I think we're at that point, <laughs> right? Like I can blade here, you know. I can kind of just do whatever. They can't even base gen me this turn, so. Blade is the play, and then if he does go for a shield, I can do something and honestly if he goes for a shield, I'll probably just furnace. Right, he's going for the hit, so another stone, fair enough. But that is going to close out the match. He took some good stones, but I was able to really stay on top of things and keep up the pace. The elephant at the beginning was really helpful for me too. So I had big 2680 right there. Tonight has not been a good night of peeve, but. Um, <laughs> that at least was refreshing so I can at least make content for today so that's pretty cool but anyway thank you all for watching I've been Ice Gold be sure to like subscribe and leave a 50 comments for the algorithm my discord is down in the description if you want to chat with me some more W lag and I will see y'all later